is your google drive getting filled so the problem with google drive is that it gets filled up very very quickly and today i have an amazing solution for you so the solution we have it will help you free up almost 40 to 50% of your google drive by compressing your images by more than 70% and it will also help you to eliminate duplicate images that you may have in your google drive so let's get started so i'm going to share my screen so the first step is to get the application to get the application guys you need to go to this link this is cbxit.in slash double d double s okay so i will put this in the youtube link as well so you just need to open this fill in your details fill in your details do not change the number of the template okay so this is already pre-filled for you you can fill in the other items and the moment you submit the form you are going to get an email like this a dear sanjeev and click here to the a link for the application so when you click here when you click here uh, you will see a pop-up come in like this so this will be asking you to make a copy of the application so just click on make a copy so this will create a copy of this application in your google drive so anytime you want to, uh, you know, go to this copy, you can just open your Google Drive and you will find it inside the Google Drive. And here you can, uh, you know, further rename the copy, like I can say demo. So, okay, let's get started. So uh, the first tab you see, this is the data where you will see all the, all the files that are coming in for compression. And uh, then we have a tab for duplicates, a tab where you can see all the duplicate files a tab where you will see all the files that you have deleted the duplicate files that you have deleted and uh, here you have the settings so here we will get started so friends whenever you want to have a look at the video on how to do this so you can always refer to the video by going to this link so you will come to the instructions video and uh, very first thing that you would like to do is to get the folder from where you would like to compress all the files so you need to enter the url of the folder which contains the files that you wish to compress so if you want you can have one you can have many so uh, simply for example i've got my drive and in this i've got a folder called uh, temp so go inside the folder and just get the url just copy the url of this folder and just enter this here just enter this here so you just need to enter the url of the folder and uh, same way you can actually enter multiple uh, multiple such uh, folders so in case there is not one there is there are more folders you can enter more folders here so you can simply just copy get the links and copy them here for this demo i'll just take one and now uh, what we will do is that that we will just simply click on this button COID box and click on import. So when you do this, it will ask you for authorization. So this is asking for your permission to run the script that will do the compression. Click on continue. Select your email ID. And click on allow. In case you are using a personal Gmail account, it may ask you, it may give you a warning. Uh, because it uh, you know generally gives a warning for uh, gmail.com an additional warning and then you have to go down and click on advance and then you will come to uh, this page so once you come to this page click on allow because if you do not give permissions then this application will not be able to compress the images that you want and don't worry uh, this all what is happening is all uh, in under your control and uh, under your google drive only so no data is ever sent out anywhere outside for uh, any kind of purpose so everything is safe and confidential so now uh, i will go ahead and click again on import and uh, nothing will happen here because we have forgotten to click on this button so you need to click on this button so in case you add uh, more folders just keep on adding this button here and you can add more urls like this okay so for the moment 
uh, we will click on this and click on import. And what you will see now is that in the data tab, all the images will start coming in. Okay, so it is now getting in all the images and you can see uh, the original uh, size and this actual, the size is in bytes, okay? Is in kilobytes. So you can see this is approximately one and a half MB. So first it will get the images. So now coming here guys in the settings. So many of you may have folders that are too big because uh, as per Google, this script can only run for uh, approximately half an hour. Okay. In case you have more images, then you need to set a trigger. Okay. So you can see here that there are some settings here that allow you to set up a trigger. So you can do one thing is that you can actually uh, select the import trigger and uh, here you can select a trigger that can do this. This is also very useful because in many cases you may have a Google form that is collecting these images and you may need to compress these images on a daily basis. So for example, if you select minute, then this option will come for every 30 minutes. It will be checking and uh, getting new files. You can also set up for a hourly basis. So you can also set up a trigger on an hourly basis. In this case, the options will change like this. And uh, every two hours, every four hours, every six hours. In case you would like on a daily basis to check it once in a day, then you can see that it will give you a time. Like for example, you want to say that, okay, at night or at midnight, it should do the compression. So you can also set up a trigger like this. So once you have selected this, you can click on uh, set up a trigger. Okay. So uh, before we do that, I will first also talk about compression. So as you can see that this script is still running and it is collecting all the images. It's already collected around uh, data of around 112 images that need to be compressed. Now, if you come here to the settings page, uh, you will see if you go down, so you will see that already there are 119 files. Uh, you can also see that out of these files, uh, there are 83 files that are less than one MB. That's the number of files. And there are 45 of files that are between one to five MB. And in case there's anything more than five MB, that will also show up here. So you can see a breakup. And as of now, because we have not run the compression utility, so that is not going to happen right now. And the total uh, file size also, it's giving you in uh, MB, it's uh, 154 MB. So that's a huge amount. So that's a huge amount you can see. So already you can see that's a huge amount of uh, space that is being taken up by these files, right? So I will... Uh, cancel this for the moment. We have sufficient files where we can do the demo. And uh, here, so we can uh, see all these files. So our next step is that you want to uh, convert these files. So before we convert, uh, you know, you can also check for any duplicates because there is no point converting duplicate files because many times what happens is that you have exactly the same file name and exactly the same file size. Okay, so just go to the duplicate tabs and you can actually uh, sort by name or you can even sort by size. To me, sorting by size seems to be better and click on this button called get duplicates. So it will it will uh, run, it will run and unfortunately right now uh, it is uh, not showing any duplicates uh, for the moment. So let me uh, get create some uh, duplicates for the demo purposes. So what I'm going to do is I will just simply make a copy of a few files. Okay. So now it's showing that these uh, duplicates have been found. And now simply I'll go to duplicates and click on get duplicates. So as you can see that it is now showing that these are the duplicate files. Okay, so it is showing that these are the duplicate files. 
and you can click on these links and check what image that they actually contain. So you don't even have to go out anywhere. The moment you click on it, it will simply show you the files that are actually duplicates. Okay. And uh, what it is going to do now is that uh, you can select the ones that you like to delete. So any of the files that you, you can actually click on the buttons here. So if you want to deselect all of them, so you can deselect or unselect them. If you want to select all or you want to select them manually, it is up to you. Like you can select all of them. You can click on this here and uh, unselect all of them. And also what you can do is like, suppose let me select two of these files and it only shows the duplicate versions. Okay, so it will not, like suppose there are three files containing the same data, it will show only two because it will preserve the first one as uh, we need to retain one original copy. And now what I can do is I can click on delete selected. Okay. So it will delete the selected files. So now, now what you're going to see here is that uh, it has done this. And if you go to deleted tab, you will see that two files have been deleted. Okay. So two files have been deleted. And uh, that way, first thing is that you can actually, uh, you know, uh, get rid of these duplicate files and save a huge amount of space. So that is one way it is going to help you uh, clear out duplicate files. And as you can see that it has deleted two files. And the space saved is approximately 4.73 MB. Now let us come to compression. So one way to do the compression is to do it manually. You can come here, you can click on convert. So you have selected the files that are going to get converted and click on convert. So it is going to compress them. And you will see that uh, the file that is approximately 15 79 kilobytes is now just 652 kilobytes. So 59% compression. Some of the files may already be pretty compressed. So you can see 59%, 58%. So like this, because I've already run the utility once on some of the bigger files, so it will not be compressing them again. And as you can see that it started compressing. <coughs> compressing these files. And if I come back to the report page, which is the setting page, you can see that uh, already it has started saving a huge amount of space, 5 MB, it is already saved. And uh, it is showing you that 10 files have been processed. And the green bar, this shows you the space that is getting saved. Okay. So it's showing you, uh, you know, in terms of the file size. So, what is the original size of these files that have been processed? It was 19 MB. Now it is 9 MB. Okay. So already the processing has started. It will run for half an hour. So this is also going to run for half an hour. So now in case the number of files is very large and it is going to take time, right? So compression takes time. So first thing is that the quality. So you can just click and you can still see that the quality of the file is still pretty good. Uh, despite the compression. So I'm just going to open one of the files and show you. As you can see here that the quality is still very good. So it is uh, optimized. It is optimized the file and compress the file. So it is still pretty good. The quality is still pretty good. So let me do one thing. I'm going to click on uh, cancel for the moment. So you have got the idea. So this is how it works. Now, in case you have more files, then what we can do is we can set up a trigger. Okay. In case you don't want to set up a trigger, you only want to uh, set up a trigger for import. So you have two options to set up the trigger. One is uh, for the compression and one is for import. So for import, I've already told you, you can set up a trigger like this. And for compression also, you can set up a trigger. So same way, you know, let me set up a trigger on a minute basis. So uh, here I'm going to get an option. As you can see, automatically get this option for every 30 minutes. And just I need to click on setup trigger. 
So on the right side, you can see that a trigger has been set up. And now this is going to happen automatically. So you don't need to do anything. Uh, after half an hour, you know, this uh, utility is going to start run and uh, it is going to start compressing your images. So you have to give it some time and it will now run every half an hour. Okay. Uh, for the compression, as per the setting that we have done here, and it will import the files and any new file that comes in, it is going to import them so that uh, any new file that comes in, that will also going to get compressed. So uh, one thing I like to point out here is that you can have multiple folders here and you can just add multiple URLs. So uh, it will also show you how many files it's imported. The reason it's not showing you right now is because I had stopped the process in between. And uh, the free version that is here, it allows you to compress up to 500 files. So uh, 500 files you can compress, uh, you know, without paying any charges. So it's, uh, I think it's a pretty good limit. And uh, if you need to compress more than 500 files, you have a huge amount of files. So there is a very minimal charge. You can pay $25 to get a yearly license or you can pay $75 to get a lifetime license. Okay, so you have two options here. You can pay in INR or you can pay in USD. So the links are provided. So you just pay this amount and uh, when you pay this amount, so when you pay this amount, you just need to, when paying this, just mention the Gmail ID on which you would like to set up this. So you can, uh, you know, there will be an option when you move forward to mention your remarks. You can mention the Gmail ID for which you would like to get the license and the kind of license you want. And uh, in the same way, uh, you can uh, do for INR also. So you can also make the payment in INR for, uh, and furthermore, you can see there are some other buttons here, like there is help. So for uh, the free version, we are not providing any support, but for the paid version, we will be providing, uh, you know, we will be providing uh, email support. So this, I think, will come in handy for you uh, to create more space. So you won't really have to, buy more space uh, when, uh, uh, you know, your Google Drive gets filled. So please uh, test this out, try this out. I hope that this will come in handy. And for more interesting information, do check out our YouTube channel that is CUIT Box. You can search on the YouTube for CUIT Box. And uh, this is Sanjeev Jain from CUIT Box. So I am the founder of CUIT Box. And CUIT Box is a, a company that creates technology for running businesses. So we help entrepreneurs use cutting edge technology to become global industry leaders. So do check out my website at www.coitbox.com on how we can help you get to the next level in your business using technology. So looking forward to your comments and suggestions about this utility and your feedback. Did you find this useful and any more suggestions you have for us? So I really look forward to hearing from you. So bye-bye and take care.